Uh, when I started talking about consciousness and biology and saying that states of consciousness determine states of biology, that was a strange kind of mm -hmm. expression. But everyone here knows that if you're angry or hostile or feeling fear or depression or guilt or shame, you don't feel so good in your biology, right? Well, we can measure that now. So everybody knows the biological consequences of stress. You know, heart rate goes up, blood pressure goes up, cortisol levels go up, immune function drops, hormone levels change. But now we also know that if you're in love or you're feeling happy, for whatever reason, that there's a shift in your levels of oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, opiates, which we now actually know. These are common words. What is even more interesting is that now, thanks to some very great scientists in this area, Scripps, and uh, uh, you know, we have Eric Topol, for example, the professor of digital medicine at Scripps, mm -hmm. who says that with a little patch on your, on your chest, it's easy to monitor blood pressure, um, heart rate, heart rate variability, stress levels, skin resistance, brain waves, uh, skin temperature. So I can put a patch on your Steve, and if you have an iPhone, this is off right now, but if it's on, it can pick up your biological parameters and transmit these uh, wirelessly to scripts. Mm -hmm.